before you tackle your garage or attic, know that you could be risking a fire. New at 10, the night team's Randy Ayala looks at why and how to avoid it. Randy? And it's caused spontaneous combustion. Fires starting from chemical reactions. Louisiana's had three such fires in the past week. Spring has sprung and many use the season as motivation for cleaning or home projects, but with it come safety hazards. Fire officials want to warn folks how to avoid what's called spontaneous combustion. When a material heats slowly over time to a temperature that ignites, it's very common uh, in, in petroleum-based, uh, combustible-based products. Chief Browning says the most common example is oily rags. A rag with kerosene to clean something in your, in, in your home or in your business and to ball that thing up and throw it in the corner, that is where spontaneous combustion occurs. Linseed and turpentine are other common catalysts for spontaneous fires. The National Fire Protection Association reports more than 14,000 of these types of fires occur annually. 1,600 of those happen in homes. But with the right precautions, this can be prevented. If you soak them in water and you wash the chemical out of them, then now you've taken away uh, that combination that allows them to internally heat. Or by properly storing dangerous chemicals. Gasolines and things of this nature need to be in approved cans uh, that allow them to vent, but don't allow them to be open to the environment to where they can overheat. These Fires can be put out with a fire extinguisher or a bucket of water if you catch it before it spreads. Once it starts burning in the building, uh, then, you, then you're actually going to have to need the response of the fire department. For a full list of safety tips, head to MeyerClements.com. In the Media Control Center, Randy Ayala, NBC10, your local news leader. Randy.